After years of frustration and heartbreak chasing the AMA Pro ATV Motocross Championship, Chad Whedon put together his own program in 2012, and with help from family and friends, powered his way to a prestigious first ever national title. Now a new challenge awaits, as the best riders in the world try to take the number one plate back away from him. The 2013 season is about to begin. Welcome to Washington, Georgia, and the opening round of the Mountain Dew ATV Motocross National Championships for 2013. Jason Wygant, as always, your host here on Racer TV. Big crowd of riders, amateur and pro alike, rounded up for this season opener. Amateurs will race throughout the days on Saturday and Sunday. It's a pro show on Saturday, though, and a lot of big names and big teams are here, including some stars of the past coming back into racing. More on that later. We want to focus on the riders that were gunning for the title last year and are hoping to get it this year, including Thomas Brown, Joel Hedrick, John Natale. They will also be dealing with Mother Nature. Heavy rain coming down here as we get ready for our first moto, but we still have a full gate because the riders know despite the conditions, every moto counts. Let's size up some of this year's title contenders. Coming to this year, uh, Wiena Motorsports, Chad Wiena picked me up to become on board as the second pro rider. Ah, oh, man, the program is so solid over here, it's awesome. I'm pumped to be a part of it. We had a solid off season. Got a great bike underneath us, got a lot of testing in, and uh, showed up here at Aonia ready to roll. I mean, I'm looking to win a championship this year. Uh, definitely be on the box as much as possible and maybe get a few wins. Uh, stay consistent. Like I said, we didn't make any major changes, so we were real happy with how the bike ended up at the end of last year and uh, we're just going to go and put forth the effort this year and you know basically try to get you know podium finishes every every race and uh, just keep keep pushing this year heading into this race at aonia of course we're expecting to win you know we come here every year expecting to win races and uh, i guess uh, every race you don't have to win every race to win the battle so or the war i guess you don't have to win the battle to win the war i guess and uh, uh, my main thing is the, the war, you know, I want to win every battle, of course, but if I don't, my main focus is on that national championship for 2013. We uh, switched to Honda this year, I'm riding for Hattrick Racing. I'm real confident, I had a really great winter. Just ready for this race, I wish it wouldn't be raining right now, but, you know, I work with what we got. Um, my goal for this season would be definitely to win some motos and get top three again, hopefully first. But to get first, you must first go through this man, wide open Chad Wainan, put together a dominant run last year, and he wants another title in 2013. Able to run the Rock the Number One plate this year. I had an awesome year last year, just one of those that, uh, it's like a storybook, and uh, coming off the season before, having a season ending back injury, and then this past season, coming out with the championship, and. Uh, had a great off season, same program as last year. Feeling good, feel the best I've ever felt. We got more time on the machine and just uh, today, we got a little bit of a rainy day, so it's a, it's a 21st rider out there and we're, we're just preparing for what we're gonna have today. And I feel good, I'm a good like, I feel like I'm a pretty decent mud rider. The start's gonna be everything and starts have been working on huge, so we're, we're feeling good. Well, look at this. The rain has certainly done damage. And all the riders and teams are in damage control right now. They want to first make sure they finish this moto and then worry about the results later. John Natale trying to clean the mud out of his starting area so he gets some traction. But you can see that is a fruitless search. But as Chad Whedon said, you've got to get a good start in a mud race. You will collect so much mud on your goggles and your machine very hard to ride by the end of the moto unless you're up front and then you're the one throwing the mud instead of catching it. So the start always critical, but more critical than ever. What a way to start this 2013 season. Let's get racing. Well, rain or shine, some things never change. 
Josh Upperman, who has been the whole shot master the last couple of years in this tour, up to his old tricks here. He grabs the whole shot, and a bunch of riders down. John Natale there, the 13. 74 is Kyle Fix. He's underway. So all these riders we talked about, how critical the start is. I think that was Josh Kramer just getting going. Everyone in that group has got their work cut out for him. Meanwhile, up front, Upperman with the SSI decals whole shot award on the Baldwin Honda under pressure from Thomas Brown, who is also on the Wheaton Motorsports Yamaha. He's trying to work the inside. Good job riding a wide machine for Upperman. But look at Brown. Where did he find that room on the inside? And he takes over the lead. And Joel Hetrick is going to try to get by both. He's already gotten Upperman. And now all the way up the side of the track. Well, he's not going to be able to complete the pass that way. And now we have Weedon moving up to fourth. Hetrick going back after Brown. Spectacular action early. We said how critical it would be to get out front early. Hetrick knows it, and he's into the lead. So in the course of about three quarters, Hetrick goes from third to first. He means business this year on the 88. Brown not giving up, going to try to fight back. And he goes for it around the outside. They come together. Great racing, and it's just begun. Stay with us. Find your flow with Max's Tires. Racer TV is brought to you by Amsoil. By Rocky Mountain ATV MZ. By Maxis. By Mountain Dew. And by Can-Am. Great racing so far in the opening round of the 2013 Mountain Dew ATV Motocross Championships. Joel Hetrick continues to lead in the Hetrick Racing Honda. Battle brewing behind him between the Yamaha teammates Thomas Brown and Chad Whedon. And that has allowed Hetrick to get away, and the track has already dried out quite a bit. These ATVs will really sling the mud off of the main race line, so things are not quite as slippery as they were earlier. As you see, Brown and Whedon go by second and third. Not a huge lead for Hetrick right now, about a second and a half. You see the two Yamahas in formation behind him. If he makes a mistake, they can take advantage, and it's going to be difficult to avoid mistakes here. Track is definitely going to change each and every lap as it dries out. Man, Hetrick on the gas through those rollers. We didn't closing up. That type of terrain is usually his specialty, and he's now right there on the rear grab bar of his teammate Brown. Other riders, of course, like we said, had trouble in the first turn. 23 riders in this moto. Josh Kramer was about last. He is now into the top 10. You've got to try to salvage some points here, even if you can't get on the podium in this moto, like these three are looking to do. Oh, and there's a little mistake from Hetrick. Had a tough time getting over to the backside of that double. Able to recover. And it looks like he's actually pulled away a bit. Tough situation if you're the riders in second and third. The closer you get to the leader or each other, the more mud you're going to catch on the goggles and on the gloves. And since this is the opening round, I would not be surprised if these riders all played a little bit more conservatively. You see Hetrick take a look over his shoulder. He doesn't have the pressure that you would normally see applied by Brown. Shout out to Jeff Rastrelli here on a Can-Am. He is in the number five spot. There's Kramer. Also on a Can-Am not too far back, he's about eighth. Josh Upperman, who had that SSI decals whole shot award, is fourth. So the real battle is just outside of that top five as Hetrick tries to put this one away. The kid has won a ton of youth and amateur titles in this series, has won a bunch of overall wins in this pro class. He wants a title this year. Whedon has lost the toe of his teammate Brown. He's actually lost a little bit of ground. We go back to Upperman, who's still fourth. Rastrelli, as we mentioned, is fifth. Time running out for anyone to make moves on your leader, Hetrick. What a great start to the year it will be for him. Switching from Can-Ams to Honda this year. 
you never know that's going to go. Sometimes riders struggle to adapt to new equipment. Sometimes it's a, a new spring in the step. Of course, one moto doesn't really prove much, but so far so good for head trick. And how about Kramer up to eighth now from last? And Joe Bird, the veteran, multi-time series champion, also trying to work his way forward after that first turn tangle up. Look at Hedrick. It's a totally different track than what we saw early in the moto. Now doing all the jumps without trouble. You can see that main race line, how much it has dried out. If you get off of that, you're in trouble. So that's another issue for anyone trying to make passes. If you try to go outside or inside of the rider in front of you, you're pretty much going to be almost literally stuck in the mud. There is Cody Suggs, 89. He is in 10th place, and he's now been lapped by the second place rider, Brown. So it gives you an idea of the pace the leaders are running. That's a good ride, but it's still not enough to stay in the lead lap. Checkered flag is out. Joel Hetrick is going to win it. Way to debut on the Honda. Way to get the year started. He'll celebrate on the podium, get cleaned up, and then we'll have Moto2 when we return. We'll be right back. Stay with us on Racer TV. The Can-Am Renegade 1000 XXC with the most powerful engine in the industry. The Outlander 1000 XT with a redesigned chassis for unequal trail riding. The Commander 1000 Limited, the most equipped, luxurious side-by-side -side in the industry. The facts say it's the most advanced lineup out there. But the ride says it all. Eddie Engine. Any season. At home. At the track. Or on the trail. Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Racer TV is brought to you by Amsoil. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. By Maxis. By Mountain Dew. And by Can Am. Welcome back to Racer TV. Joel Hetrick takes Moto One in the mud. What are some key setups to racing in these conditions? Let's check in with his dad. Yeah, for a muddy day, uh, try to prep the bike a little bit different. Everybody, of course, does their own things, but if you look at our bike, we use uh, a lot of foam, things like that. Uh, put the air filter on and then try to cover the air box the best you can to keep the, the loose water out of it. Um, in the front of the bike on the radiator, we use uh, women's nylons, but they work the best. We cover up the radiator and it deflects the mud, but allows the air into it and the mud don't stick to it. Um, of course, the softest kind of tire we can run, depending on how loose the track is, is the tire size. Uh, today, we're going to run the regular 18s, just a soft compound. Um, so yeah, you just you know do your best, watertight everything, dielectric grease. It's uh, it's a big deal to make sure that no water gets into it, just so you can finish. Uh, 20 minutes is a long time. Plus, of course, we have the extra time. But yeah, it's just um, a matter of the foam and covering everything up and getting it right. And Rich Hetrick, one of the most well-known ATV builders in this game, especially on the youth ATV side, where Joel certainly enjoyed the fruits of that labor, but he is proving he can do it in all conditions now, winning the first moto. Loaded gate again for the second race. Conditions are a little bit better on the track, but you can see behind the starting gate, it's still pretty muddy. Time to go racing here in moto number two. Looks like one of the Can-Ams out front, and that is a complete reversal of the first moto. Josh Creamer, who basically went from last to sixth in moto one, grabs the SSI decals whole shot award here in moto number two. That's Upperman in second. Good to see Creamer going to be racing the whole series this year. Missed the last few seasons, couldn't get the ride he was looking for, but he's won this title before, and he is trying to take off from the field early. Look at that sprint speed. Hard to tell, they're already pretty muddy, but I think that's Hedrick up to the number three spot, going to try to challenge Upperman, and then maybe go after Creamer. And it's Wienan and Brown in the mix, too. 
Kramer, guy out of uh, New England. Good to see him back in it, riding on the team BCS machine. He had a few guest appearances last year and showed he had the speed to mix it up with anyone here on the national level, just like he always did have back in the day. He's got it again today, pulling away a bit from this battle. It is now Upperman and Weeded battling for second and third. What happened to Hedrick? He's lost some ground. Thomas Brown to the inside of the Yamaha, trying to hold Hedrick off. Hedrick using that outside line, a little bit more momentum. Putting him back into fourth. Meanwhile, Kramer, oh no, I thought he was pulling away. Upperman and Weeden have pushed each other back up to his rear grab bar and we could have a battle for this Moto win after all. Oh, you can hear these guys are really pushing. And it looks like now Hetrick has gotten back around Chad Wienan. So it has gone back and forth several times. Kramer, a little look over his shoulder. He's got this one now back under control. For a brief time, I thought this group was making a run. Now he has left them. Well, not in the dust, certainly, but he has left them in his wake. But look at this torrid battle behind him. You've got Upperman here on the 20. Currently, it's Wienan in third on the Yamaha. Number one, that's the 88 of Hetrick on a Honda and another Yamaha Brown on the 84. But they have gone back and forth several times. And if you're Kramer out front, you'll take that. I thought they might push each other to catch him, but instead they are just battling amongst themselves. Look at Brown trying to get back around Hetrick for fourth. Kramer's not going to win the overall today. A great job from next to last to sixth in the first moto, but the bottom line is 6-1 scores. You'd be hard pressed to win it overall for the day, but he is serving notice. He is going to be a force to be reckoned with all season long. He's won this title before. He knows what it takes to the long haul. Meanwhile, battles continue to rage. It's going to be fun to watch. Stay with us on Racer TV from Ionia Pass in Georgia. When it's time to get ready to ride, you need gear. It's time to go to RockyMountainATV.com. With the largest selection of ATV parts, apparel, and accessories, we have what you need at deep discounts. We have a huge state-of-the-art facility that ensures your order ships out quickly with accuracy that's second to none. Most items ship free and arrive at your door in three days or less. Visit our industry-leading website, RockyMountainATV.com, today for the best prices, quickest shipping, online support, and largest in-stock selection around. RockyMountainATV.com. Get ready. Now when the sun come up, I'll be there to say what up in the morning. Perfectly at peace, so I move along a bit higher. I'll be up a bit away, up a bit away, cause they gon' judge me anyway. So whatever, I'll be up a bit away, up a bit away. Crack open a can of new Kickstart by Mountain Dew. The perfect mix of dew, real fruit juice, and just the right amount of kick. Kickstart your day. Racer TV is brought to you by Amtoil by Rocky Mountain ATV MC, by Maxis, by Mountain Dew, and by Can-Am. Battle raging here. Josh Kramer has pulled out a solid lead on his Can-Am, but about eight seconds back, these guys are still pretty close. Chad Weenan looks to have moved into second. We're waiting on third. Upperman and Hetrick, they were battling as we went to break. They are still all over each other, and it's all sorts of mixed up for the overall win today. Kramer with a sixth in the first race. Probably not going to get that overall. Question is, Weenan in second. He had a third in the first moto, so he's in contention. First moto winner was Hetrick. He is in fourth. Hetrick gets to second. The overall win is his. I'm sorry, even if he gets to third, but it is not going to be easy because he has got to get around Upperman and he is doing everything in his power on that number 20 to hold Hetrick back. Kramer well prepared for this championship. Told us that he had been doing a lot of tire testing with the boys at ITP and that definitely helped off the start. He's definitely hooking up now. Now the mutter in the first moto, that's just a crapshoot. You never know what's going to happen. But in these conditions here, he is really making a statement. Look at him looking over. 
and acknowledging some of the fans over there, he's got a lead of about nine seconds right now. So he's able to back it down just a little bit if he needs to. I think he's just having a good time out here. A little bit further back, Whedon all alone in that number two position. Consistency of the order of the day for the champion. Third in Moto 1, second here in Moto 2. Hoping that maybe results in an overall. Look at this. Upperman has pulled back away from Hedrick. It is, oh, Hedrick has run into trouble. That was Thomas Brown that came through. Hedrick ran into problems. And from what we hear, he bumped into the back of Upperman. Kramer is going to take the checkered flag, but I think that's going to shake up the overall and give it to Whedon. There he is in second. The three two scores, I believe, will be enough to make Whedon the overall winner for the day. Brown and Nick DeNoble finish up in the top five. Hedrick, a heartbreaker, battling for third, ends up back in 11. Tough break after dominating Moto 1, but everyone has shown their cards here. Creamer's going to be fast. Brown, Upperman, Hetrick, and of course, Chad Wienan, who takes the overall win and continues to carry the red plate. He's the defending champ and now the points leader after round one, but this is really setting the scene. Expect a great championship battle. Let's talk to Thomas Brown on the left. Man, the whole team just pulled together this weekend and got us through the mud. First moto, started off good. Came out third, got to second. Me and Joel battled for a little bit, and then he pulled a little bit of gap, and we stayed there. Uh, I was planning to come out that second one, knock and win, and get that first win out of the season out of the way, but uh, things didn't go planned. Made a few mistakes early on and fought back at the end and uh, had a little help getting there, but uh, man, I'm pumped for the third place uh, overall on the podium to be on the box this first round. Strong start to the season. Yeah! Coming out of Ionia, we ended up second overall. First moto, we had a bad start, but uh, put my head down and came back to sixth. And second moto, we pulled a whole shot and ended up taking the win. Kind of checked out with it, so couldn't be happier right now. My team, BCS Canium, they did a great job getting the bike ready. This road a smart race, ended up third in the first moto. And uh, second moto, had a really good gait, came out, uh, I believe, third right away. And uh, just kind of put my head down and uh, Actually fourth, and then we had uh, had Creamer was just out, and uh, Upperman and Joel were battling. I got past uh, Joel quick, and then just put my sights on uh, Upper and followed him for a couple laps and found him my way around. And I uh, started getting on Creamer and trying to track him down, but he was riding a good race, and uh, I knew where I was at, and uh, I got very lucky at the end where uh, I was actually second overall, and I got a gift, and I got. Ended up first, so um, I'm pumped on the weekend. Wiener Motorsports at the side decal, Walsh Racecraft, um, Yamaha. Amtoil Race Recap, Moto 1, Hetrick on your left on the red machine. The Honda takes the lead from Thomas Brown. Brown doesn't give it up without a fight, though. It was great racing in some very difficult conditions. As the track dried out, Hetrick just got faster and faster, and he was off and running to the first Moto win of the year. Also picked up the uh, ATRiders.com Fast Qualifier Award. Didn't get the start he wanted in Moto2, though. That would go to Kramer on the Can-Am, and he would pull away from there. Kramer had a bad start in Moto1, holding back to a sixth place finish. He was not a factor then for the overall. There was a torrid battle behind him, but eventually Hedrick was on the short end of the stick. He stalled late. Kramer takes the Moto win. Chad Wienan is your overall winner with consistent 3-2 scores. That's it from Georgia. For everyone at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wigand. Thanks for watching.